Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Loop Hero with our little journey from Oblivion to somewhere else. And uh, let's select our little game and continue right there. Last run was quite successful with a bit of a different strategy. It almost looked like I, I had a breakthrough in my mental process for uh, handling the rogue where we very much aimed for small combats, small in the number of enemies, and the um, basically the strength of the enemy not mattering as much as the number of enemies. And that has paid dividends. Um, we did collect loads of resources, and uh, also uh, that means that we are still short on metal though. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. So let's see what we could theoretically build. Uh, well, some huts and a warehouse. What I don't get is still get uh, don't get is the uh, plus ten to the camps. I oh oh that's it. Oh that's what the warehouse is good for. Now I get it finally. Yes, just looking. I we, recently we figured out what this uh, red number means. And that is how many items you actually are allowed to use during your adventures. And this means that we get 10 additional items to use if we build the warehouse. Now that is quite interesting. The mud hut is a lot cheaper of course, but uh, it only adds one. But it does add the, the base slots for it. This one adds three base slots uh, that can be filled and 10 as the overall sum. While this one adds just one for the overall sum, but two slots. So a combination of these two will be required. And yes, it has nothing to do with these resources. Um, th th these probably go to 9.99 or something. So this one, the kitchen knife, is looking interesting. It does give us a plus 1% health for every food item that we have placed in here. And of course we do have three uh, <laughs> loaf, loaves of bread. Welcome to the German camp, yes. <laughs> and the kitchen knife is appropriate for that as a tool. Do we want to sacrifice the one defense? No, maybe not, but there's probably something in here that we don't need. Huh. I wonder if I read this right the last time. I can't really remember. Um, I think I mentioned something about Rat Wolf's damage. I think it was a skill, but this one here... So I must be confusing those, but... Uh, the Skinner's Knife. 10% chance to receive one ration, uh, ration after killing a Rat Wolf. Plus 5 damage to Rat Wolves. Um, so I thought there was something negative about this, maybe? Maybe it was a trait that we got to select. Uh, I think that was it, but uh, yeah, this one is quite interesting if you go with a grove strategy. One thing that we can do is to upgrade the healer's hut. Uh, that one also gives us an additional item, and that is something that we wanted to do anyway, right? Um, because that is 20 stone, don't really need it at the moment, and we do have these lined up. Although, this is quite costly with the five change orbs, or whatever they are called. And it really needs to be tooltips here, while you are hovering over these, just to get the name. Um, but yeah, plus 1% to potions healing effect, plus 1 potion to carry with you, and plus 1 refill uh, filled at the camp. That's quite powerful in uh, regards to what resources we need. Metal is the constraining factor here, so I'm going to go and upgrade that. So what I'm going to try here is to go for this one, the uh, minus four, four damage from all vampires, and we're going to try out something. Oh, where's this one going? Is it... what? What? Didn't it, that give us another slot? Uh... Oh, fuck. Okay. Well... This kind of means that what I thought would be going on doesn't work. Oh, well, this one still says one. So, yeah, you can't, yeah, okay, well, uh, that was a little confusing. Didn't it say that it added one? I, I can't even remember. Goldfish memory. So, um, hmm, 
then uh, I guess we are not equipping that, or rather we are, but we have to find a way, because I'm going to try out a little new strategy. Um, in the lore that is being presented to the player, which I haven't read during this uh, playthrough, but for, for another, for my own personal, uh, personal um, enjoyment, I did read about that vampires watch over, over towns, over villages, and... I'm going to try out that synergy. Let's see what happens. So, supply. And for that, of course, we do need some kind of protection here. Otherwise, this is going to end poorly. So, I've equipped this one. And now, we um, go on a journey. Some uh, extra defense. I think I do want to equip this one instead. Is there anything else we can build? Uh, we could build a mud hut. <laughs> but other than that, no, not a warehouse. Nothing really. Just a farm or mud hut. Uh, should we try and build a farm? Because we only have one. Seems a little on the low side. And this would be a fantastic spot for it. Should be viable for a while as well. So that will gain us quite a few resources over the course of this run because that is a lot of fields all right let's build my um my my little outlook here let's see symmetry is not although that one is quite nice with how we are set up hmm ruins i definitely don't take but village wheat fields and Battlefield, Vampire Mansion, Chrono Crystals, yes. Um, and Oblivion, Treasury, Storm Temple, no, not so much. And not a beacon either. I think that's it. Yeah, and we do have the upgrade to the symmetry as well. So, yeah, we should take this one. Okay. Uh, I think this should work out. Let's, let's go. We are confirming this. We're using the rogue again. And see what we can do. Basic equipment is equipped, and now we go. Come on, a murder, murder it. Definitely going with the Chrono Crystal boosted stuff again. So let's build the meadows right there. Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck me. No, that was a bad place. I didn't see that this was the bottom of the screen. Uh, yes, no, I should have built it there, but... Okay, well, that's a little wasted then. Alright, uh, getting our first loot drop. A level 3 weapon, that's nice. Do we have anything else that is relevant? Uh, we do have... Uh, is that a better armor? Uh, this one is definitely better boots. A bit disappointing there regarding uh, what we got, but there's a chest coming there now from the um, battlefield that we placed down. Ah, oh, well, okay, of course. I was, I was last playing with the uh, warrior, and he always gets shit from the chests. Uh, yes, so no, that's not the case. We get resources here. Very mediocre drops so far, uh, from a card point of view. They're almost end of lo loop number two. Okay, that is looking nice. Let's see, level 4 armor, magic damage 4, yes, I take it. Uh, another th level 3 weapon, yes, please. And what else do we have? Just armors and stuff. Oh, we still don't have an Oblivion card. I should have waited placing this one. Uh, this will only spawn probably one until we are there. Well, maybe two. Now oh, there we have an Oblivion card. Uh, do we need it for anything else? I don't think so. So let's nuke this one. And the next set of loot. Uh, a little underwhelming again. We do have a weapons upgrade though. Alright, this time around I'm <laughs> not going to do the same mistake there with the Chrono Crystals. Uh, now we have 18 HP per day for from just 3 meadows. For the battlefields, I'm just making sure that we are not placing it with an overlap because that spawns the bloody path, which I don't really want to see. And some more meadows can be placed down for even more boosting of health per day. 
and a very mediocre upgrade in general. Uh, booties. Do we get something that is better? Free defense versus a few points of uh, evasion. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a wash, basically. But these are definitely better. Just straight up better. So let's use those. Still very poor draws overall. Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't want to have this in the range of Chrono Crystals, but let's place the cemetery here. We do need some fights. Ah, a trade. Uh, deep pockets, resource cap, I don't care. Card sharp. 10% chance to keep the card after placing it on the time. Nah, not a fan. Uh, don't need that at the moment. Huh. Now I, I think I can well, I can try the second thoughts, I guess. So there we go, doesn't spend points. This is looking a little better. And I guess we get a little bit of healing after each kill. I mean, we're not killing that much. It's not a big issue, but also we are not healing that much. So yeah, it's, uh, maybe 10% chance to attack two targets at once. Hmm. <clears throat> doesn't scale well for what we are doing here. So I think I'm going for the... We don't have that many things at the roadside either. This is still very void. So let's let's go with this one. Nothing is sacred. And again, only trash. Well, uh, level 5 weapons. At least that's a straight upgrade. And while I'm at full health, I think I'm going to complete the mountain with these mountains. That's not optimal. But, uh, of course, can be done. So, yeah, let's do that. Mountain, mountain. There we go. Get some more health and stuff. Oh, finally, okay. Loop number six. Oh, what? We found sh nail sh uh, shoe nails. Uh, attackers receive one damage after every hit. Mm, that seems rather weak. Um, but, yes. Loop number six. We draw our first village. <laughs> okay. So now finally we can start to uh, play the strategy, the start of the strategy that I wanted to do. And that is with a village. Let's go like this, like this, and Vampire Mansion. Boom. There we go. Ransack the village. Um, and Meadow. Where do we place you? Right there. So this will be a hard fight. Not quite sure we are ready for it, um, after having such a poor start with just level 5 weapons right now. And there's the second village. Uh, okay, well, I guess we are going to place that one somewhere else. There. Ah, for fuck's sake, the bandits, yeah. No Oblivion card. We have had such shit draws. So this is a big fight. This is a big fight. Uh... It's awful, because these are hurting like crazy, and have plenty of hit points. We might actually die here. Uh, get rid of those guys, please. Come on. Kill someone. Yeah, he's evading and stuff, but, I mean, we are sipping potions here like crazy. Oh, we drew our first treasury! Isn't that nice? Oh, what is this? Swarm of bats. Alright. What the fuck? That's two. So, um, well, that was a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, shit, also known as. But, um, yeah, we definitely do need some better items. I, I do want to see some level 8 shit for the next round, otherwise this battle will be rather deadly. Uh, I can place this next village, though, without any issues. And... That will be a very nice position here for the Vampire Mansion if we get a little bit overpowered. Um, because that will be rather dangerous to place that one there. And the next treasury. Okay, here they come. Now I get all the cards. Alright, we avoided the bandit. This guy got the crown. Um... So yes, I really need an Oblivion card before placing anything else. The skeletons are pretty nasty. Ouch. Okay, I can't place this just yet. And I really need an Oblivion card. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Well, shit weapons, uh, but the rest of it is pretty impressive. Magic damage like crazy. Uh, and we did get level six weapons at least, so it's a straight up upgrade. Um, yeah, this one isn't too great, is it? Defense, oh, magic damage. It's quite good. Oh, this is nice. Level 9 booties. 13 evasion. 5 defense, counter 17. Yeah, that's nice. And I do think we need the additional hit points. Uh, so even though this gives us crit chance of 12%, I think I prefer having a bit more survivability. Although, mm, uh, mm, uh, well, this one is actually just straight up better. I messed it up. But uh, lost one shard, basically, if we survive another one. Another loop. Ah, but I think going for the counter is probably a good idea. Uh, with this one, because that will add a lot of damage. So let's do that. Which one is the higher damage one? Uh, the lower one. So let's replace the axe. Oh, the Mimic just critted me like crazy. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? 113 damage. <laughs> Nuked us down. Oh, fuck. Silverware. Plus two damage to all undead. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, yeah, I see some potential builds forming here with when you have plenty of equipment stacked up. But I don't think we're actually going to survive this loop. Uh, we don't have firepower. This is not enough damage. I don't think. Yeah, this will be tough, especially this fight over there. Oh, so many Chrono Crystals. Uh, yes, what do we want to do here? Just give them some more room for placing meadows, maybe? So, big fight awaits. Uh, is my... Is my counter of 36% high enough to deal enough damage to this group quickly enough? that we uh, don't get killed at 500 um, hit points. I think we're actually going to die here. Uh, how much? Re how many resources do we have? Not that many. So it's not that important? I, I hope... Let's see how it goes. Uh, ouch, yes. Okay, counters are being dealt, but... Yeah, get rid of the fucking vampire. Yes, please. Okay, might have a chance here. Yes, evading and countering. Um, hmm, y yes, uh, after losing 20% of his max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks for two seconds. Okay, well, uh, that sounds like a good thing. Ouch. Well, are we even go- Fucking hell, he hits like a- How? How? Why are these guys dealing 100 damage? Fuck me! Oh, is this D DPS? And then attacks per second. Yeah, okay, that would explain why it's over 100. But yeah, we're dead now. Boom! Okay, well, that was fucked. Uh, we will lose everything. Okay, well, shit. I would say that was mostly luck of the draw. Uh, yeah, and well, it was a little questionable there with getting, getting some of those... Um, uh, placed down and not removed in time uh, like the, the the camps and so on but um, hmm I don't think that strategy as a whole is is too bad uh, we just need to have those villages up with the vampire mansions a lot earlier so let me see if we go on another expedition and of course we could do without the battlefield card because that's just resources we gain uh, we can try to get that through other means. And these are the bare bones cards that I need, really. Cemetery, could, we could do without that one, too. Should we try a very lean set like this? But that, on the other hand, doesn't give us enough fights, does it? I do like the fights for the cemetery. Yeah, the skeletons are not too big a threat if we have a quick loop. Alright, here we have two cemeteries already. Um, that is nice. And where do we want to place them? Right here, maybe? It doesn't really matter that much, but after healing, probably a good idea. Oh, and there we have our first village card. 
Well, that's a good one. Uh, we could place that somewhere along the tracks here. Oh, this is... I think this is the perfect location. We can play this um, dual mansion thing here if we wanted to. Yeah, probably a good idea. Mm. Uh, then, yeah. Y yeah, I think so. Okay, let's try this. We could even go with the triple if we want, really wanted to. Yay, equipment! Uh, one level two item. Crit chance, damage. Uh, that's not that great. But do we have anything that is better? One level two weapon and the rest is... Oh, a katar. Oh, more critical damage chance. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Yay, and we visited the town. And now we are fully healed again. Almost. Treasury. And uh, meadows, well, oh, almost complete with the second loop. And there's the first goblin to appear and peel out. So an easy fight still, but we do need the Oblivion card in the long run. A level three Qatar. Hmm. Level two Scimitar. So nothing spectacular. Uh, but we do deal. Ouch! They hurt so bad. We do deal a fair amount of damage. Even to skeletons. Especially when we crit them. Ah, now there we have our Oblivion card. Uh, excellent. I do need to nuke that camp. And we can't really proceed with our plans here until we have another Oblivion card. Oh, well, we, we can build the, the Vampire Mansion. Even though that will be a hard fight. Oh, quest reward. Critical damage, 27. That's just so much more damage, so yeah, I'm going to take this. I'm going to use one mountain to just complete the pattern. So that gives us so much. And then wait with the other mountains until we have uh, some Oblivion cards. Oh, nice. Second w village, but... Oh, and Chrono Chrysalis, so I'm going to use that here. Oh, there we have the vampire mansion. Uh, I need to place it right now, because this is per loop, I think, the, the mechanic. So, let's do that now. Um, yes, spawns up to four ghouls once per loop. Transforms into something useful after three loops. So, on loop six, this will turn into something useful. And we shall see if... Oh, we should... Oh, can we tackle two of these fights? Uh, fuck me. I kind of need to gamble here and place it down and then hope for the best that we do get our Oblivion card soon because I do need to transform these sooner rather than later. Oh, shit. Those fights. Nasty. So, some good weapons are needed and we don't get them. Fuck. Okay, I'm just going for all-out damage here. I, d I don't care about the, the critical anymore. I need to, like, nuke them down. But this one is quite nice. More attack speed, more health. That will help. So let's go with this. And then these booties are straight up better. Do we have anything else? Ah, maybe these. Uh, critical damage. But for how many percent? Ten percent. Mm, that is ineffective. 2.3% more damage and less so because we already have more than 100 damage uh, there, 140. So, yeah, that's basically not worth it. So let's go with these. Okay, we destroy a skeleton before he even can hit us. That is important. Ah, well, if he doesn't evade. Okay, first hard fight. Let's see. Ah, come on. Oh, yeah, that was a nice crit. So one is gone. Ouch, 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 ouch. We really would like to have some counter. Oh, there, oh we have something. Uh, old scars. Max HP is increased by one for each received trophy. We are going to receive a lot of trophies. Marauder, fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. Uh, it's not that important, is it? Um, so let's go with this one. So first fight manage that one. We still have healing potions. So I think we will survive this one. 
I still look for my first fucking Oblivion card. Oh, second Oblivion card. Use the first one there on the Goblin Camp to get rid of the Bandit Camp. Okay, second hard fight. Come on. Nuke them down. Oh, yes, we got an Oblivion card from the first one. Okay, doing pretty well here. Um, but only one healing potion left. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, this should be fine up to there. And now let's Oblivion this shit before we get into any trouble with the bandits and them stealing our equipment. I'm going to place another cemetery um, because these fights are decent enough. Another treasury. Where do we want to put this one? Probably such that I can place some Chrono Crystal there as well. Um, yeah, but not quite like that. Uh, Chrono Crystal there. No, there. Would mean that we can place this one quite well. Yeah, I think so. This should this should work out. All right, new items. Okay, level 7 weapon. Now we're talking. That is a good one. Critical damage, damage to all, defense... No, okay, it's not that good a weapon. Uh, better than what we have at the moment. This one, though, critical damage and attack speed. Yeah, still better than what we have. And more attack speed. Uh, critical damage chance, 13, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's get ready for those fights. Ouch, come on, crit him down. Yes, beautiful. Uh, now we're talking big baddies. Uh, not looking great at the moment, but I think we might be able to... Mm, garlic! Plus two damage against all vampires. Nice. Let's see how this fight goes. Oh, there we have something. Something. Something that can help us. Ooh. Ooh. Blissful ignorance. Um, Can we close this down again? Yes, we can. Okay. So I'm going to do a little thing here. Let's see. Let's see. We do have... Do we have another village? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to basically place all the stuff that I have. Spawn the camps and so on. Uh, yeah, you go there. You go there. This goes there. Where? It didn't... It didn't actually... It didn't actually spawn anything. Oh well. I thought I was playing it smart and then using Oblivion on the rest. <laughs> so, uh, no, that didn't work out. So the question is, can I just keep this around for when I need it? I think the answer is yes. Or do we need the... Do we need the 10% extra damage for fights where we have more than one target? Uh, I don't think so. Not at the moment. So yeah, let's keep it until we get this one. This will be quite powerful, especially for healing. There's another village. Huh. Okay. So we would be able to place it right there. Why not, right? Why not? This is another ransacked village. Okay, last big fight here. Come on, get through it, please. In one piece. That worked out pretty well. Almost through this uh, this here. And then, I think, at the end of the loop, we should see two of these villages convert over to whatever they become. So it transforms into something useful. Let's see what that is. Uh, and we still have the option to... Hmm. Yes, um, we, we can place this down. Let's do it. That should spawn the camp there. Yep, yeah, okay. It did. Nice. Let's just complete those and play some more meadows. Okay, loop completed. Let's see what happens. Oh, fuck. They spawned another few skeletons. Level 8 weapon. Now, I think we're going for the straight upgrade here because the attack speed there is not that viable. 4% and critical damage. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we will survive without it. So this will give us a bit of a, a nice boost in damage for sure. Ah, there, yeah. And, uh, of course, these towns now have converted. Count's lands. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of healing. 195 upon entering. 
The village is thriving under the vampire's protection and its inhabitants are very generous. Hmm. Okay, gives you a quest reward. Yep. So basically, they are super villagers now. Oh yeah, and with the with now us having actual healing over here instead of just trouble, still one fight to to get through, one big fight. Um, this isn't looking too bad anymore. Probably can place some more fights along the way. So let's do that. Uh, we have plenty of fights down there, so not looking forward to that. But um, I think having another three here is this too hard? Let's not overdo it. Let's just go with two. And now I'm going for a clean hand with this. All right. Yes. Um, what do we want to oblivion? Well, this one, for instance. Uh, and other than that, we want to oblivion. Well, some something. Well, fights that are too hard or something. Because these are going to heal us. Wow. Critted a skeleton in one hit. That that was pretty. Wow. <laughs> Chrono Crystals and Brass Candlestick. What is this one doing? The hero's damage is increased by 5% when he's in range of a lantern or a beacon. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wow, crit again, crit again. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, and crit again. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, we have plenty of uh, Oblivion cards, so that's no longer a problem, and we can build as many mountains as we like. So now, soon, at least. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Killing him basically instantaneously. Nice. Okay, now it's starting to work. Uh, that was not nice, though. Uh, losing that card wasn't good. Uh, what do we want to do here? Place this one down. Yeah, I guess. To upgrade this one. Gets us another few hit points. Um, yeah, we're getting around here with placing all the stuff around the Chrono Crystals. And now we see the, the nice healing for the first time. And boop. Yeah, that is a big one. And one of these guys, one of these ghouls, is now a quest enemy. And I think I'm just going to place a vampire mansion and then... Um, basically oblivion it. Bye-bye. Because that heals us a little. Just to be sure that we are not uh, overdoing it here. He's going for the wrong guy. You need to go for this one first. A oh, nice crit though. Yeah. yeah, okay, we're nuking them down. It should work out. Have one more healing potion. Alright. Yeah. And then we will get some more healing from the town. This one will convert over on loop 8, I believe it was. So still one more fight. And another level up. Um, let's see. Countering. We're not countering much. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. Uh, two seconds of immunity is nice, of course. But uh, let's see another set. Um, Marauder. Mm, nah. Nothing is sacred. Adjacency, yeah. Okay. Um, let's let's try this one because now we do have some more roadside stuff. Not not much, but better than nothing. Oh, there's a goblin camp finally. I was longing for some oblivion and a new set of shit. Let's see if it is useful. Uh, is it useful enough? Is the question also because we are quite low on health. But of course, when you're low on health, we can just oblivion some wheat fields and replace them. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Nice. Evasion, uh, plus evasion bonus and crit damage chance on these. So, perfect. The level 8 Dirk is also quite ni nifty. Counter, plus 10. Evasion bonus, plus 10. So, yeah, let's replace this one. And our armor is going to be replaced with a level 9. Yeah, yes please. And now for some more healing. How about nuking the scarecrow here and just replacing the field. And we got another village and a bandit camp. And bye bye bandit camp. Okay, the hard fight for the loop. Ah, he went after the correct enemy. Well, that helps. Uh, we are arriving here basically at full health. Looking good. And with us placing another mountain, we did get 
uh, another goblin camp, which we don't mind, because we can just oblivion it and heal a little. Isn't that skill beautiful? So powerful. And the next round of items. Oof, oh, that is looking juicy. Level 11 weapon. I think we can uh, quite easily go another loop. This is now a perfect healing spot. We don't have super hard challenges yet, so maybe we should even try the boss. I don't know uh, how hard that one is. Supposedly quite a bit harder than the first one, relatively. At the moment our healing station here isn't even really needed, but there are some harder fights coming. This one, three uh, enemies and a crowned one. I think that is a harpy. Indeed it is. First enemy down already with a crit. Massive crit. Oh, just one observation here. Um, oh, yep. Uh, exactly that. I had three cards that I don't really need at the start. So I do want to overdraw a little bit and then spend in order to get rid of them. And there is the boss. Okay, I have no clue what that one is going to do, but I think we are going to find out. Although it is a little unfortunate because we are, if we die, going to lose a lot of resources. But that is the fate of the rogue. Ah, then I think I want to make sure that we are not losing too many hit points until the end. So with that in mind, I have to nuke this battle quest failed, yeah, I don't care, and then replace the, the wheat field, and then do the same with, with this one and replace the wheat field. Alright, this is looking quite solid, I would say. We do get another uh, 270 points of healing. That gets us very close to maxed out. Oh, no, it does get us maxed out. And I do have three more cemeteries. Uh, I'm going to place them down as soon as the day is uh, over. So we get all the bonus there. And there we go. Okay. Looking good. They won't spawn anything. So I just get the bonus and then go to the final boss. I would love to run at that point. Like, um... <laughs> I, I tend to be overly conservative with these things, um, but I think we do have a pretty solid status in at the moment. Let's check our stats. So counter 15% quite low is bad, but I think we do get plus 10%. What was the, the, the thing with the rogue? I think it gets automatically plus 10 or something. Uh, evasion 38%, quite good. 20% uh, chance of 187% damage, so plenty. Um, and then magic damage, some. Uh, damage overall pretty good, max HP, yeah, we have plenty of HP. And the only thing that we are lacking is a few more potions. So here come the resources, boom, boom, boom. And, oh yes, evaded that attack too. Okay, you can't have it any better than this. <laughs> we reached the boss with almost full HP. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it almost full, because uh, anything else would not be an accurate statement. Um, but do you want to see how it goes? Uh, me too. I have not seen this boss before in none of the playthroughs. So um, let's just place that over here and take a look. Oh, so many nice resources. Ten metal. Ten metal. Some stu stools. Um, Battlefield, back to the cozy camp that has passed through your mind. Timely idea. So, staying means what? Well, we are definitely going to succeed in another loop. Does this one not have a boss like this? It must be. Let's stay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, could you please stop? What? Okay. Fight is up. Uh, reflect, ouch, ouch, okay, we did crit a little, ow, 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 okay, get through, do, do we actually win here, I, I don't think we are currently doing very well, oh, come on, uh, we are dodging a lot, still have all the, oh, we even got a, 
We even got some healing off because the day progressed. We do some countering. Are we winning this? With the healing potions on? It's hard to... Ouch, that was a bad one. Well, these mirrors are not helping. This is not the right build for this. I think this is a, a warrior fight with lots of multi-damage stuff going on. We have no more health. We need some lucky... Lucky... Oh, fucking hell, yeah, there. Yeah, we're going to die here. That is unfortunate. Oh, we crit it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well... Oh, that was disappointing. Um, so... Yeah, this is the wrong build. You need, um... Lots of damage to all, basically. So we are losing everything we got. Just taking a few scraps. Oh well, oh well. Now we know what that boss is. Still, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>